other leg. Um, so here we are back at the bee yard. We're going to collect some honey today. And we have Katie and Daryl from Living the Dream Farm. You come up as special guests so we can teach them a little bit more about beekeeping. I wonder if these guys swarm Norman because I don't see the population in here that yeah, is in here. Yeah, five hives. You can see the liquid coming out there. Yeah. So when you're this high the bees don't swarm to the top from us or they should all be Well, there was enough bees in here that these boxes were full. Right, because yeah. usually they're spilling over. Yeah. And this box was trying to swarm on me. And you see they haven't Drawing this out here on the end yet? Unless you know we can run up and move, you should have had that done. Can you paint some wax on there? Okay, paint, painted wax on there. Yeah. yeah. So they've got. They're working on it, but. Uh, not, I don't know if I should just take a box right out of this. I, I, I just took that off there and I take one. Well, well, I'm sure one of these boxes here is going to be full. Yeah. Yeah, so there's no no weight to that. I mean, there's a bit, but... Where do you put your boxes? You just had a cross lid on the, on the lid. Now, you see, this is a nine frame. You see, I've got spaces in here. So that keeps the... Where do you get these from? Um, Borden. Borden's a book of his house. And now you see this, if you look at the cross section of this frame, you see it's wider? Yeah. That's because there's more space between the frames, and they will just pull that out. And yeah. you, you can get four or five pounds of honey. Wow. Wow. Yeah. 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 There must be lots of bees here. Yet they, they just met up. It's early in the morning, too, and there's a lot of bees are flying. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Black man, so yeah. Now that one's ready. Daryl was quite worried about seeing such dark honey. Uh, that's okay, eh? Dark honey. The dark mm -hmm. honey is supposed to be better for mm -hmm. than the light mm -hmm. one. Yeah. So you don't use any yeah, kind of see, there's no, the yeah. bees, eh? You there's no that. liquid there. You going to take that one? Yeah, I'm going to take that one. Where's your hand Um, so you can open that. Just sweep them off. Come on. How about they, I guess? What I'm wondering is how you know before you take the honey that they're going to be okay for winter. Like, how do you know you're going to have enough? Because we still have well, we'll leave leave a box, whole you, box. You never you never take that one. No. Okay. Well, I can. There's, and honey there's and enough yeah. time yet for them sure. to recall. Okay. Recall more frames, right? Because I've heard you shouldn't take any honey the first year, but we're pretty loaded. So I'm thinking I'd like to. Yeah, see that's got lots of... Now that's okay. If you shake it, it doesn't matter if it's unclapped or not, no, right? No, let's just have a... Shake these. It's okay, we were eating. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and take the few remainder. Come on. Yeah, I know, you're busy. So you just take your heated knife and you just do like a slide down. Yeah, you can, yeah. And that just takes the, yeah, the yeah, cap off. Right. Oh, you can feel the difference, how heavy that thing is compared to... Yeah. Is there a bee on there? Okay. There you go. <laughs> that, yeah. Working well, hey? Oh, nice. Nice, nice. Yeah, yeah we've got, got some comb off of our inner cover. So you would feel confident taking all, all the honey from the spot yeah. that they would be able to? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, did you see that little short video I did on the uh, on the uh, cappings of the wax? No, but the I'll look. Wax? I haven't got, I, I'm planning on watching every single one, actually. I just did a yeah. quick video. I had okay. this hive. Yeah. 
when they were in the backyard collecting from blackberries, the wax, and I'll show you down here when I get this box off, the wax is pure white, and that's what beeswax normally looks like. Mm -hmm. okay. As soon as we brought them up here, it turns yellow. Even the cappings from the blackberries was pure white. Oh. But you see how yellow that is. It's a different flower. Yeah. Different oh. types of food. Mm -hmm. That's why there's different colors of flower too. So you're not ever worried about the queen coming up this high? No. She'll stay to the first two boxes. She doesn't want to go back to the home. She won't be in the home. Even if she runs out of space to lay. Yeah. You're looking for the queen. What kind of pressure? Uh, yeah. yeah. So what if she runs out of room to lay in these two boxes? Should you be putting an empty box like in the center of your hive? No. Always on the top. Always. Well, I don't know. It depends on your preference for... I don't know if there's a right way and a wrong way to put boxes on. If I'm just thinking if, if you wanted her to have more room to lay, you would put one. Well, she's got lots of room to lay. Like these are my these two bottom boxes are my brood brood, ah, so brood chambers. Yeah, they'll hatch. She'll put more. They'll hatch. She'll put more. Yeah. <laughs> but sometimes, mm -hmm. if they if they have bees all full in that top box with all full of honey, they would start filling the frames down here. Mm -hmm. Just cut down on her ability to have space to lay. So you want to keep a lot of space on the top. And sometimes that's another cause for them to, to swarm is um, because there's no space for the queen to lay, yeah. they... Uh, ooh. That is yeah. not... So that's just a few weeks. That's two weeks. Since, Two I weeks. guess since we saw you last, right? Yeah. Since you guys were up there. Here, just put that under the camera. Look at that. Wow, that's oh, nice. Gorgeous. Okay. Holy cap. Can you feel the weight of that one? Yeah. Oh, it's <laughs> You see, they're already cleaning this up here. So they don't fool around. They go right to work and... That one's ready. I just love how you put that, that, so it's almost like half done for them. Yeah. You know, they can just fill it up. No just problem. fill it up, yeah. That's the problem with starting out new. You have to get them to draw the frames out. Once you have yeah. frames drawn out, you just reuse them that's over and over. That's what I'm saying to Daryl, too. It's just like, that's what's taking so long. Is they need to, to build the wax. Yeah. So you could technically even add something like this to a bait box instead of it being filled with honey because they would smell that. Yep. It doesn't even have to be Yep, yep. Yeah, let's see your population look really healthy in this side. Yeah, it's hard to tell. I, like, they wanted to swarm so bad. The yeah. first first time I noticed it, there was, mm -hmm. I don't know, probably a dozen queen cells in there. And you didn't split it? I did split it oh, okay. at that time. That's why I've got one small box at home. I see. And they're doing good? They're building? That they're now? building. But they didn't use those two queen cells. I put two, uh, one frame and had two, two fully capped. Well, no, they weren't quite capped. Mm -hmm. They were just open on the end. Two queen cells, and I put them in the in the nuke, mm -hmm. along with um, two other frames. Like when you split, you take the, you're supposed to take the queen, but she's a new queen and she didn't want to be seen, so I couldn't find her. And so I decided to take the the frame with the queen cells, and. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Decided to take the frame with the queen cells and put them in the, in a new. Oh, look, they're already. Yeah, they're there. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Hope they're from this height. <laughs> Is it number eighteen? That one's number eighteen. 
Oh, that's a year. I just I've been writing years on there, so I know how old the 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 boxes are. So that's another question, I guess. You don't ever mix your frames with different kinds. Like, let's oh. say I took one out of that one, and I could put it in here, or oh yeah, no, you can do fine, that. Right? Yeah. Oh wow, it is just so much fun. What's that? Oh, that's that's leaky. Or is it just dripping from the bottom? I think you just have. Well, let's get it over. Oh, yeah, that's got quite a bit of That one I can leave and give them another week. So, yeah, that one's leaking a little bit. Anyway, back to what I was saying. I took the one frame of these with the queen cells and I put them in a nuke. And then I took two other frames of brood and the bees, and I put them in the nuke. Two? Yeah. Okay. And I was hoping they were going to use those queen cells, but for some reason they didn't. They, I opened it up a week later. One of the queen cells was gone, and the other one was still open, and I think the queen was dead. So, fortunately, Norman, when his hive was swarming, so he grabbed the queen out of there, and I took that queen and put it in. Oh, good. Put it in there. And they didn't kill her? They were good with her? They were good. It's desperate. They were good. Yeah, that's, that's not ready yet. So you don't ever want to shake, I guess, onto the ground because it would attract robbers. Yeah. yeah. So I can take... Yeah, let's get another... One more frame on this and give you a... for a moment. Do you think it's good practice to write the year on the frame? Yeah, it helps you keep track of how old the, the comb is. Does it matter? Well, that, that's another... Uh, that's, it's a personal preference. That's a personal preference, I think. I don't think... It, oh, that one... You don't have the spacers in this? No. This is a 10. I need a skinnier one than this, because this is a... Oh, no, hang on. This is an outside frame, so let's... Uh, See, I can tell because this side is flat and the uh, side is bulged out. Right. So that... Get these over here a bit more. And that should just drop in there. So you kind of figure that... Because this is 10 frame, these... Uh, the space in between will be a lot narrower. And... Um, the outside, because there's space between the frame and the outside of the box, they'll draw the outside of this comb out. If you, if you look there, you see that mm -hmm. wider? Mm -hmm. And so I just sort of kept that mentally in my mind. Mm -hmm. that, oh, if that's going to be an outside frame, I'll just stick the stick them back in where I took them out of. Do you have any problems with the box? I don't think so. Okay. Uh, now, would you try to scrape all this off or no? Yeah, I'm going to scrape that. Yeah, if we can lift the frame out of there. Okay. So, would it be too late for you to even put another box on top? Hey, I would think so. They haven't did much on this. I assume this has been on for a week. So they're working on it, though. Yeah, there's nectar in there. You can see it. Yeah. There's no eggs, so. so they're doing okay anyway. Every hive has this different energy. Just yeah. yeah. I really feel like these ones are like... Well, Pete gave me the one hive, and a couple of weeks later he said, do you want another one? And he said... It's good to have two, at least two hives, so you can compare what they're doing. Right, right. Well, they've always done something different. Ah. <laughs> Just looking at this one, like you can tell, these ones are very agitated. Yeah, you can hear the higher buzz. Yeah. This is awesome. not enough food for <laughs> yeah. This is our honey. Yeah, leave us alone. They're they're calm compared to that one of those two over there. Oh yeah, I wonder why they're so angry. 
It's probably bad genetics from the Queen. two hives you take the top off of it and they're just on you they're like i got stung five no they were i got stung five times through my through my suit like i got twice in the chin a couple of times in the back of the neck oh wow yeah they were really aggressive and we had to go down the road like 200 yards before we get her even take her suits off because right. <laughs> they were just hauling us Yeah. Katie just got a book and one of the guys in there was talking about like harvesting hives from like trees. They're going in and actually working. Yeah. Like, that's pretty interesting. Yeah. Yeah. And when you're moving them up here, you could be three guys. You know? One up at Otter Point. One up at Otter Point. Oh, maybe that was a swarm. Yeah, no, no, maybe that's the queen we took out or something. And uh, yeah, could be that. Oh, what's? Oh, yeah, no, that was a swarm box. There, that's where, where Katie is. Swarm come out of. This is where the swarm came out. Oh, yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, if you want to see something interesting, just stand in front of the hive, yeah, and then just turn around and you'll see all the bees are packed up behind you, oh, okay. because you're sort of in their flight line, their yeah. and then they all just push right into the hive. <laughs> Yeah. I, I thought that and took it to it. Well, this is an empty box we have on here. Right? Yeah. Instead of taking it home. Yeah. <laughs> 
The oh. first plane looks like it's got some caps, honey, there. Let's see what's happening in the middle here. The first one that you got? Well, putting honey in. Looks like they're trying to just yeah. rebuild they're and they're working stronger. good. Yeah, same with the next one there, Norman. Honey's in it too, eh? Mm -hmm. Got a just in right here. Mm -hmm. Usually by pulling like four or five frames, you get a pretty good logistic of what's going on. Well, we yeah. yeah. know it's only what, three high, so. No brood, though. No. Mm -hmm. So the brood, there's the queen. They're still drawing out the comb. Is it queen? Yeah. Oh, there she there is. is. There she is. Oh, yeah. Hey, girl. <laughs> uh, so there must be eggs in there somewhere. I don't what know. What a beauty. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Okay. I like seeing the queen. Go to town. It'll land. So I don't know we get honey off this at all. No, it doesn't look like it. Not today. Will they fill that up, you think, in two weeks or yeah. one week? Like, well, they three and four. Pretty unpredictable. Two, four, two, six, and two, eight. No, I no, didn't. No, I don't. If they fill this out here, maybe I'd get a couple of three frames out. But you see, it's only three high, so I may have to leave up the food, too. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, went to the food. Yeah. Yeah, it may all depend on what they're storing down on the bottom. Yeah, it's a separate portion to we say, you know, we need will a box. Will you check the bottom to see what's going on, yeah. or before winter, you know, will you... Well, you're you putting that back, no, put on again, we'll just put that back on the, yeah, what's that? Uh, before you go into winter, will you check the bottom hive, to make sure yeah. you have, like, enough... Enough bees, and enough pollen, enough food, yeah. Well, make sure they have the resources through. they need to get through. <laughs> There are ways, like, um, there's a way to feed them. No, in the wintertime, you can't feed them liquid sugar, like sugar water. No, okay. No. Because that introduces moisture into the hive. I see. And, of course, like I mentioned coming up here, moisture will kill them quicker than... I didn't know that. Okay. ...quicker than you can shake a stick out of them and just freeze them to death. Oh, wow. Okay. So... You don't want that big frame that goes in with the three? No. No, okay. Not, not during the winter. No. Ah. Um, or a spring thing. That's spring, summer, yeah. And early fall, like up until middle of October. Oh, really? Even that late, that can yeah. go in? Yeah. Okay. And after that, what you can do is you take a sheet of newspaper and put it on the top frames okay. of the top box yeah. and then pour dry sugar on it. Okay. And as they generate moisture from the hive, that will saturate the sugar a little bit and they'll be able to eat it. They can't eat dry sugar, so it has to be wet. But the, the, because they'll generate enough heat to create steam in there, basically, yeah. that'll, the sugar will absorb that, and they will be able to feed off of that. So. Beauty. all new, new to me. Yeah, I'm gonna, it's, we're going into winter is going to be my day. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I didn't hardly know anything last winter when I went into winter. And it was <laughs> oh, that's a good idea to put that frame over. Oh, you have to. Yeah, we're getting into these little girls. We know. Organic honey, just yeah. out here in the forest. Yeah. yeah. Nothing around. Nice no. Same thing. I'm spring and that they charge more for the jar honey than either. Well, even Pete does. He charges twelve dollars for a pound. I see. 
Well, you know, I'm, yeah. I'm happy with that. We're giving people a deal at 10, a, 10 a pound. Oh, sorry. 200 pounds. Check that out. <laughs> Good for you. That's why you're so young and vibrant, Norman. Yeah, it's the it's honey. <laughs> it's your medicine. Yeah. 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 If it goes my bucket, I get to keep half of it. <laughs> you know, I'm going to inform Nancy too. Just <laughs> won't is it filled? Mm -hmm. It looks like it's filled, but it's mm -hmm. open like some of mine were. Oh, yeah. Look at the look inside there. Oh, yeah, let's peek inside. Oh. <laughs> I just love watching their little tongues go in there. Yeah. Bit, eh? No, I wouldn't take yeah, it. No, I don't think so. It's not dry enough. No. Uh -huh. So, what happens if you did harvest wet honey? You know, uh, it just does it's it separate? No, it's just a little runnier than. Okay. I was actually watching a video last night about. Yeah. Last night or the night before about. Not uh, fall out of honey. I hate it. Taking honey too soon and and what so, uh, nectar compared to ready the honey does. Do just put a bunch of new things into this box. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Where are they? Are they in the truck they're, or? They're, they're in the truck. in the in the trailer. Yeah. yeah the trailer. So and the fellow says it doesn't make any difference. Mm -hmm. If it's, you get two drops like that, you can still take it if you want. Mm -hmm. But it's actually better to have a dryer. Right. So, but he's had some scientific little thing. He put a drop of honey on it and he's looking through it. and huh. It could tell him how much moisture was left in it and, wow. and stuff. <laughs> I can just set it on top there, I think. Oh, that's not right. ready? No. Oh, yeah. You see the... You see what spilled out of that one? Oh, wow. Well. Yeah. So that's that's way too loose, that one. Mm -hmm. It'd be nice if you could just clap your hand and all the bees would lift up. I heard that. How do you Well, I guess it won't move because yeah, it's got separated. Okay, sorry. Yeah, I'm not used to that. You put it underneath. Yeah. Okay, I see. Yeah, it's right. it's oh, really thick and No, you go all right. This way? You use the back of the thing to lift it up. This way. You see the back fits on that? Yeah. Ah, like that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And do this other one the same? Okay. Yeah, I've never used these separators before. There you go. Properly. I'd like say, you got honey. Oh, no. It's a bit dull. Yeah. There, yeah. well, give that one a shake up over here. Because that's all fully capped. Yeah. yeah, no, I would leave it there. Uh, yeah, just put it back. Do you want me to shake it over? Or yeah, just give it a quick back. shake just to see. see if it drips over, over there. Uh, there. Sorry, guys. And a little bit. Yeah, there's a shade one there. Yeah. Yeah. No. yeah, you're getting yeah. drips out yeah, of it, so. Sure. No. Yeah. Well, draw a line on that one. Uh, what do you take? Uh, three? Yeah, you put it in the little knot. Do I do that? Yeah, put yeah, it, pop it in. Pop it in. Well, yeah, that's it. That's what I like about those. And roll mm -hmm. two, three, okay, yeah. two, three. Just, yeah, yeah, we're used to pushing yeah. it out. And yeah, yeah it won't and it's different, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hey, you got a couple of frames out of that box. Yeah. What are these like called? Just uh, yeah. frame separators? Spacers. Yeah. It's a ten nine. frame box, but you put the nine frames yeah. in. Yeah. yeah. That's the third one. No, we're not touching that. Okay. Yeah. You're a little 
lost, ain't you? I think we gotta go. Three more to go. Three more. Use the um, the sharp end of it to uh, go under the. What's this over here? This like stack of. Um, oh, now is that? Maybe try go under. Yeah, go down underneath that. There you go. Well, Kate told me that's why they were getting captains in there, and they said you need to put a little piece on just to see the side strap of the boat. Oh, that one's stuck down as well. Oh, I see. I'll take it. You can take that off. We'll peel this. Feel that little bar on. Yeah, they glued that one down. <laughs> <laughs> this is all propolis there. Yeah. So start with the outside. That's the one thing I don't know if you know or not, but you should never in the brood frame, brood boxes. Never take the center frames out first. Oh, okay. Never. Yeah. Because the queen could be on there. And as you pull the frame up, you could roll her and kill her. Uh. So you always take one of the, the outside frames out. Yeah. And then you've got space to move frames over, and then you can lift them. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um. What about the one next to it there? It's not capped either. Should I put this somewhere or put it back in? Oh, here, I can hang on to that for a minute if you want to look at a couple more. Our bees kind of hold hands as we separate. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I seem to do that. This propolis here, you could just take that and use that or? I don't know, I I think if propolis or pollen or whatever is your thing, then that's what you're looking for, but if your thing's honey, then. Do you guys do the pollen captures at all? Or you no. Because yeah. it's such delicate food for them. That's important food, I guess. Yeah, it's not too long. Right now. It's heavy. But it's not ready yet, I though. I just put the boxes on last week. Yeah. So they won't be ready until next week. Take out one more? Or? Here, yeah, we'll put that one back in. And lift that box off and where's your lid? Where's your lid? Yeah. 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 <coughs> it's got some weight to it. <laughs> Is it loose? Or, uh, what you can do is just turn it, twist it. No. Right. Yeah, there you go. Just to give it a little twist, that'll break the connection between that box and the bottom, next one down. You never know how hard the twist to pick up whenever <laughs> you don't want to jerk it off. Yeah. That's capped. That's capped. This side's not there. So if it's not capped and there's honey in there, does it mean the whole uh, thing? It's a little bit capped, I think, when it's capped. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
These are pretty good, eh? Looks like they're growing oh, good. Yeah. Great when you shake them off, they're not angry. Yeah, I see. I always suspect that if you... Sometimes, well, I've seen me, boy, you walk about a mile down the road on the day for a second to get in. Oh, I might start putting them in the next, uh, put that other box on top of that one. No, we'll just do it all when we're done here, I think. Doesn't seem to be.